Hello YouTube, Kaisa here from PC Gaming and Tech and in this video I'm going to unbox my new uh, motherboard as you guys can see in front of you this is uh, an Asus uh, Republic of Gamers Maximum 8 Hero motherboard and which is designed for gamers so first of all let's have a look on the box back of the motherboard if we will turn the motherboard over here you guys can see the different uh, features or the specs the motherboard came with so first of all it is maximum hero again republic of gamers rog it has supreme fx 2015 um, audio and it has lightning control which means the logo rog logo on one of the chipsets is gonna be r rgb which means you can change the color according to your setup mine is gonna be red and black obviously as you guys know the intel uh, ethernet chip extreme engine dg plus and if you see here it has the cpu chipset of uh, lga 1151 which means it is for compatible only for the sixth generation processor intel processor which are um, skylake series uh, memory it can take up to four sixty uh, four dim slots ddr for up to 64 gigabytes and it has the overclocking supports from um, the 2133 megahertz to up till 3600 megahertz uh, expansion slots pc it has two pci 3.0 16 slots support up to 16 and 8 and 8 uh, one PCI 3.016 slot max at four mode if we will use all three of these so it is gonna be like 16 uh, 16x 8x and 4x mm, the three PCI 3.01 slots graphic it has an integrated um, Intel HD graphic processors multi uh, VGA outputs for HDMI display and I will get into the ports later Multi GPU supports two way um, quad core SLI, NVIDIA SLI, and supports three way quad core GPU crossfire for AMD. Back panel ports, um, it is the here is the picture of the back panel ports. USB, we have different kinds of USB and the different um, ports for it. We have two USB 3.1 ports, so that's the good for me. A big feature for me 3.1 a uh, ports which has one type a and one type c more on that later when we'll unbox the uh, motherboard six usb 3.0 ports four ports are in the board like on the front of the you can plug it in on the headers you can plug the headers in and you have the ports at uh, the front or at the uh, side of your panel or however you want to uh, pull it out and eight usb 2.0 ports out of those eight four are at the back of the board and four are with the usb connectors again or headers again lan intel uh, gigabit lan nt uh, search uh, lan guard rog game first technology so that, that means in normally when you have a uh, you're playing a game and you have some other application open let's say you are some downloading something from one of the websites so the boards will prefer the downloads and you will have the hiccups or glitches in your game but in this new head um, hero series or the maximum eight series of, of asus you will have the your game will have the priority hd audio again 2015 eight channel eight channel uh, high definition audio cores it has the one of the best capacitors and everything form factor is it is it is an atx so so we'll take this out and as you guys can see the board is protected into this plastic cover so let's take this bad bite out um, for the time being i'm gonna put this on side oh look at this this is so much beautiful i like the uh, color coding or the contrast of the colors so let's put this thing on the side and let's see first of all what we got into the box with the motherboard so first of all we got the io shield as normal with every new motherboard you'll get it uh, there are six, some cables so first of all uh, we have the sli bridge the public of gamers we got q connector that's the connector which will help us to put the front um, 
cables easily to put with on the motherboard we got the um, uh, cpu installation too so basically what happens you don't need to touch your cpu you just put the cpu in align it on your motherboard so okay press the uh, the sides or something like that and it will let go the cpu to save um, you will not touch the cpu the screws for m.2 slot we got two four six oh I like it six sata ports to collect your hard drives and stuff we got some stickers rog cable labels some uh, paperwork the manuals and everything we got a door hanger which is a game on you shall not pass good and then the three fan stickers to put in your computer or in your PC ASUS warranty information form and selected your pin countries that's the warranty thing and then we have the manual or the user guide they should be yep here you go that's what I was looking for the drivers of the motherboard and all the user guides and everything so let's put everything back into the box oh man this looks beautiful and i don't know why this motherboard is so heavy so we have to take the plastic shield or the cover out in order to take the motherboard out of its compartment or the box so uh, let me just touch the metal first so i can make my body static free i don't want to fry my newly awesome motherboard so yeah we just do it like this uh come on there you go guys so it as you guys can see asus did a good job they have placed a anti-static uh bag in the box down so what we're gonna do we're gonna simply just put the board in here or on top of the box it came in so let's start the ports from the back of the motherboard so we will take that on the side and the rest we can talk about later so here you guys go you guys can see that um, we got for the mouse and the keyboard then we got two usb 2 ports bios refresh or uh, reset button again we got two more usb 2.0 ports two ports and then we got a display port one hdmi port and then we got the most recent one uh, 3.1 ports which is one of these is the red one is the type a and the fun shit one is the type c port we got a gigabit internet port two usb 3.0 and then we got our uh, audio jacks and here on the motherboard we got a aafp connector we got some thunderbolt header we got start button reset button and clear mouse button and then the rog exact uh, headers tpm header and then we got usb 1314 and that's the usb uh, 3 header there is a second one over here that's usb 2.0 and that's um, another panel front panel q, uh, q connector will connect over here which will give you the gives the power and the system to turn on and off and uh, here we have this m.2 slot then we go the sata slots so as you guys can see here these are all the sata ports uh, which are different and with the sata express sata 2 um, SATA 6 gigabit and SATA 6G and these are so these four are the SATA express slots and these are SATA 6 port, uh, 3 ports another USB header we got 24 pin uh, power connector here then we got the chassis fan 4 
we got the uh, Q code or the LED debug which will help us if in case our computer will not turn on or if there is something um, wrong with the motherboard or the RAM memory OK button and then if we will turn it on this side here we got two more CPU fan headers but one of the most important things and that I like about this board is it got a dedicated uh, water pump header so my H um, uh, Corsair H10i will be connected to this one so whatever you will do with the other uh, CPU or the other optional um, fan headers it will not affect your pump and the good thing about this header is you can manually adjust the pump speed and everything in the BIOS of the ASUS uh, then we got the 8 pin connector for uh, the power of our CPU and if we will turn the board on the side again we got some more uh, fan header and then we got one two three PCIe um, slots and then our 16 uh, PCI 16 8 and 4 slots on this side of the motherboard we got the capacitors for our audio and the LED uh, RGB LED I was talking about which is uh, which we can change the colors according to our system uh, is this one so these lights this logo will load uh, light up and you can change the colors of this logo according to your system and then we have the bios uh, chip which we can replace so if you guys can see over here this is the audio separator lights and the leds which are gonna be light up only red unfortunately we cannot change the color of this uh, first i was going to by mum 8 hero alpha motherboard because it had the rgb led headers on this side and uh, on the motherboard so you can uh, change the colors of the logo as well as if you have rgb strip in your uh, C uh, pc you can change that um, using the software and but when I was about to order that, I came across of one of the website here in UK who were uh, offering this motherboard for £176, but that was the price which was I was about to buy it on the Amazon as well. But the awesome thing about that website is they offered two free things with this motherboard. So one was the yes may, you may know that uh, asus uh, is going doing some kind of promotion thing for the doom for a uh, game so they that website was only uh, one of the website which was offering free doom doom game in the uh, in the with the motherboard and on top of that that website was also offering this nice bit rog front base dual bay gaming panel so total worth of this thing is 70 pounds and i got free i got free with my motherboard isn't that insane so i'm gonna do the unboxing of this thing as well uh, and so if we will calculate this the motherboard is about 176 pounds if we will detect about 79 pounds and on the steam um, store the doom game is about 40 pounds could you believe it guys if you will detect 70 plus 40 out of 176 how much does this disco board costed me not even 90 pounds that's insane that was the deal i managed to get and i'm so much lucky and i'm loving this deal that i have bought this awesome motherboard static wise look wise feature wise one of the best boards for the sky like obviously i can go for the deluxe and the other siberia deluxe or these kind of but those are more than like 300 400 pounds which is out of my budget to be very honest so i am very very happy that i got this deal so um uh, 176 pounds motherboard front base panel and a doom game insane so that was a quick uh, unboxing and uh, overview of this motherboard 
and I'm gonna wait for my skylight to come and then we will do the other videos alright guys if you like this video please like it if you dislike it please dislike it if you have any questions about this motherboard or anything about that you want me to do specifically on this new build please let me know in the comment section and I will take it from there and subscribe to my channel I will see you guys in the next one